How's it going guys? Um, these are going to be the first couple videos of our uh, online video series of teaching. That way you guys are still getting some instruction while you guys are home and avoiding all this sickness and stuff. So um, that's okay. Uh, but today we are talking about self-discipline. So there's a lot of stuff that we need to get taken care of at home. You know, especially now that we have all this time to ourselves. Um, you know, juniors, it's very important that you are taking care of your homework as long as it's been assigned to you, maybe over online or in person. You know, make sure that homework gets done. Your grades are very important, okay? Adults, I don't really have to tell you that much because you already know what you want to get done or what you need to get done. A nice thing that can help out with those tasks, that big list of items that you might need to do is maybe writing them down. You know, I have a whiteboard at my house and I write down all the tasks that I need to get done and even the due dates of when they need to be done by. So if you have the liberty of able to do that, go ahead and do that. It might help you um, accomplish your tasks a little bit easier. Um, Let's see. Um, you know, and there's there's other things that you you maybe you might excuse yourself from you know trying to get the stuff done that you know you need to have done, but you're like ah, I'm not really in the mood. This rainy weather has got me down. But you know what? You can't excuse yourself. Uh, these things. These are important tasks that need to get done. Once you got them done, you don't have to worry about them anymore. So juniors and adults, make sure you're taking care of yourselves and getting all those things you need to get done while you have this nice break. And um, you know, I'm really excited for these video series. I think this is going to help us out a lot and we're going to be able to continue training while we're at home. So let's get into it. Um, Mr. Johnson's going to warm us up for him. So. Come on out, Mr. Johnson. We'll go ahead and switch now. All righty, guys. Let's get warm. Uh, let's get warmed up. Put those hands on those hips. Feet to the wide. And look up. And look down. Look straight to the side. Other side. Good. And leave. Look other side. Good. And arms out. Put small circles. Medium circles. And large circles. Good. Another way. Medium circles, good, and small circles. Alrighty, and cross stretch, good, warming up those arms, good, and other side, good, alright, and see if you can stick those hands behind you and warm up those shoulders, and see how high you can bring your hands, good. Alrighty, and you're gonna reach one hand behind your back, one hand over your shoulder. Try to touch your fingers together. Awesome. Good. And other side. Good. Alright, that's good, guys. Shake it up. And hands away. See if we can get those feet a little bit wider. Good. And circles. Go to the weight. And up. All right, drop the hands, wide feet. Good. And over towards the left. Good, over towards the right. Good, and in the middle. See if you get those feet a little bit wider. Good, now see if you drop those elbows. Good. All right, that's good. Go ahead, walk it. Shake it out. Hands on the hips, feet to the wide, circle the hips. Good, nice, big, slow circles. And on the way. Nice. All right, again, feet, toes, touching, hands on the knees, circles. Good, and another way. And uh, all right, again, Mr. Higley's going to get you guys out of technique. Yeah. All right, so we are going to need a little bit of room, so make sure that uh, you have enough little space 
because you're gonna be doing some kicks. So maybe you might need to pause this video, but um, I'll show you the technique really quick. So we're gonna go ahead and touch into this guard, and we're gonna go my Gary, put it down side kick, and then we're gonna put it down. You could do a spin side kick or a hook kick. I like that spin hook kick. Okay, so make sure you have enough room for that. All right, good. Okay, now give me that guard, those hands up. Make sure that these hands stay out there in the entire time. After we do that kick, these hands shouldn't flop down. All right, so keep them up. Go so my Gary kick, put it down, go side kick, good. And then when you put that down, turn that body and come around with that spin kick. Good, okay. Practice that on your own for a little bit. Ease. So go ahead, touch this leg, subway guard. Good, okay. Now we need to go lunge punch, reverse punch, and then we'll come uppercut, uppercut. Okay, so this is a four punch blitz. So two high, and then we're gonna come from the belt here, right on those hips. We're gonna oh, shoot that uppercut up, back uppercut up, okay? So we're here, go one, two, Three, four, good, go. Practice that on your own. And snap these punches, good. Okay, on the go this time, ready. Set, go, ha! Good, ready, go, ha! East. One more. Ready? Go. Hup. East. Good. Slide up. Okay. I'm going to hand it off to Mr. Johnson now. Okay. Oh, all right, guys. We're going to do some calisthenics. We're going to work out a couple things that you're going to need. All right. For this workout, I'd grab maybe a water bottle, a glass of water, something you can easily uh, access. You're going to want a couple of pillows. All right. Um, that'll give you guys, we're going to be doing some push ups. Um, Preferably something that you can put your feet on uh, that'll give you some incline because we're going to be doing some incline push-ups as I'll be able to demonstrate. Uh, also make sure you have a little bit of room that way you know you're not cr uh, crashing and, and clanging into stuff. So we're going to go right in. All right. We're going to start off with some push-ups. All right. So if you have a partner, all right, because I know some of us um, uh, have f uh, family members in the dojo. You can do uh, what are called U Rock push ups. If you don't know what U Rock push ups are, is you start at eight. All right, I'll join Mr. Higley here. All right, and we'll start at eight. We'll do eight U Rock push ups. All right, so you'll go down and you'll do eight push ups. Good. You stand up, you high five your partner, and then you switch sides. And then you do seven push ups so you can count them down. Alright, if 
you don't have a family member, you can bust up about 20 push-ups on your own. All right, now we're gonna do some sit-ups. Right. Well, these are more like crunches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a seat. All right. Lean back, cross your ankles. You're gonna put your hands right, behind your head, lift your ankles. All right. This crunch is designed to bring your elbows forward as, as well as your knees up. All right. Make sure you breathe out, you tighten your core when you do that. All right. You're gonna do 25 of them if you're adults. Do 15 of them for juniors. All right, go. Workout. One of the important things about working out is making sure that you're always breathing. All right, it's good for you. All right, stay sitting down because now we're gonna do a fun one. All right, if you have some pillows, all right, maybe a pillowcase. All right, fill it with some some heavy things. This one's a good one for you. All right, if you guys have gyms at your house, all right, or gyms that you go to, you can use a medicine ball. That works awesome. I'm just gonna use a shield here for our, our purposes. The big idea is that you start with your object between your feet and you lean down. All right. Then, I'm going to have to turn it sideways actually. All right. You got to hand it to your hands, and you do that by doing a sit up. All right. Then you lean back, and then your hands bring it behind your head. All right. The heavier this object is, the harder it is to do. When you go to hand it back to your feet, the important thing is, right, is that you try to keep your arms straight. All right, because that makes it harder. All right, so you're going to do 15 of them. All right, if you're an adult, do 10 of them if you're a junior. Good. Good. So what constitute is one, all right, is going from feet to your hands to back to your feet. All right, that's one. Good. Two. Three. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. All right, awesome job, you guys. All right. We're going to end with two things. All right. A couple more push ups. All right. At any time, by the way, if you find yourself really, really getting worked up, all right, like now is a good time to grab some water. All right, just try not to drink too much water, all right, otherwise you'll make yourself sick. If you have a, like a, a good, nice, bulky pillow, all right, that's really good for this next exercise. All right, this kind of exercise works different parts of your arms, all right, when doing push-ups. One of the important things I want to specify or on, on doing push-ups is the way your elbows move. I see a lot of people, when they do a push-up, all right, they bring their elbows up to the side. All right, what you actually want to do is you want to bring your elbows behind you, all right, so they stay close. That works your triceps a little bit more. It's a lot better for you for a push-up. Right. We're gonna end with two things, all right? So this first one, all right, one of my favorites, all right, these are switching push-ups. So you're gonna start with your object right in front of you. You're gonna start on one side of it. So your right hand, my right hand might be your left hand that starts on your object, all right? You're gonna do a push-up and then you gotta switch and then do a push-up, all right? So you're gonna do a total of 10 of them, all right? So you do a push-up, that's one. Switch, push-up, two, switch, push-up, three. You're gonna do 10 of them, all right? Ready and go.
nine, and ten. Good, all right, and for our last thing, these are some incline push-ups, all right? I'm just gonna keep using this shield, all right? If you're in your bare feet and you're able to put your foot up on like your couch, that'd be awesome, or maybe you could go out like your front yard or something and do some push-ups, all right, provided it's not raining outside. Um, try your best to find something with an incline. Just know that the steeper the incline of your body, the harder the push-up is. So all we're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot up on your object, all right, and you're gonna do 10 push-ups. Uh, and I'll bust them out real quick. One last thing for a challenging push-up, all right? If you want a good challenge, you can start doing it on your fists, work your wrists. If you want a real, real challenge, you do what's called a hire kin, where you curl your fingers and it's on your four knuckles, all right? That's a really hard one, all right? I'll do it on my fists, all right? But 10 incline push-ups, all right? Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Awesome job, you guys. All right, make sure to stay hydrated. I'm going to hand this last piece off to Mr. Hickel. Okie doke. So good job, guys. That was a hard workout. Um, got through that calisthenic set. You guys should be huffing and puffing, which is good. Um, I want to leave you guys with a little bit of homework now. So parents of the juniors, um, we're going to be sending out these sheets. Um, and what you need to do is make sure that you sign off saying that um, your child has done the workout that we've done. It's a little bit harder, but that's because we're also using this video as our adult curriculum. So adults and juniors. These are your assignments after you're done with this video. Um, your kata that you're working on, okay? Or maybe you're on lower or upper body basics. Um, we have all these videos up online on our YouTube channel, okay? So if you need reference or help on those, you can go and watch those videos for help. But um, for the upper body basics, I'd like you to be able to do that one through 10 drill, okay? At least three times. And if you really want to challenge, do all 15 three times. Lower body basics, same thing. But I want you to go all the way through your kicks. You have all nine kicks. I want you to do one through nine, okay? Do that three times, okay? Try to do both legs, that's important. Now for kata. Uh, my orange and yellow belts, I'd like for you guys to do your kata three times each. So orange belts, you're going to do seiyuchin three times each, but I'd also like you to do seisan kata three times each. Okay? My green belts and up, I'd like you to practice each of your katas three times each. Okay? But in between each set, if you want a little bit of a challenge, I'd like for you guys to do sit-ups and push-ups. So try and do 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups in between each set. So that means you do say song once, 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups. Say song twice, 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups. Say song three times, 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups. And then you move on to say uchin. So that's kind of the challenge here, okay? So parents of the juniors, make sure they're doing their katas, okay? And adults, make sure you're training hard. This is really important. Um, we want you guys to be looking sharp back when the dojo reopens to the public, okay? And once we're all done with this whole sickness thing, okay? So you guys stay healthy, keep on training, and we'll keep putting out these videos for you guys to train. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.